Hello, welcome back. Jessica here. So we have our letter B Manny that I am creating today and this was suggested by Snazzy Nail Art Studio by Tia. And I'll talk about her channel in a little bit. She is on YouTube as well as Instagram, so please go check her out. But uh, she suggested um, blissfulness and um, blessed. Uh, so I am going to be using this color that is called blissful. Uh, so I thought that that would be a nice touch to kind of incorporate that. And then I'm going to be playing with some of my um, acrylic paint pens. Um, I got this for my birthday. My mom sent it to me. So it has all of these colors plus uh, an extra black and white. Uh, so it's a nice variety of uh, colors in this whole set. I'll leave them linked. Um, they were on Amazon. And there's instructions on how to use them on the back, so I'll go over that more in uh, a moment. I am going to go ahead and start off with my gel base coat. So I did my whole dip powder uh, process for the Blissful color. And um, I'm going to go ahead and finish off with the gel liquids. So I'm going to start with the base coat here and then uh, do my nail art with the acrylic paint pen and then uh, top off with gel top coat. So this is sped up uh, a bit as well. Um, but just to get into the, um, the sweet lady that suggested the words blissful and blessed and I think she said benediction. I wasn't entirely sure how I would incorporate that, but she said all oh, positive uh, words and and everything like that. So um, she does have a channel on YouTube. She does a lot of gorgeous nail art. Uh, one of her recent videos was uh, a nail that looks like a gemstone. I'll pop a picture in on the screen for you, but it is um, stunning it, and just beyond anything I would ever imagine doing <laughs> myself. So definitely go check that out, but she does have a lot of um, tutorial type um, nail art videos and how to's and um, different types of uh, designs, some marbling and, and things like that. So she has a lot of interesting nail art looks on her channel. So, uh, like I said, please go check her out. And, uh, she's, she makes very positive and sweet comments, uh, as well on, uh, on my videos. And, um, I appreciate her support, uh, very much. So for these acrylic paint pens, uh, it does say to shake that first. So I'm going to go ahead and shake that really well. And then it says that it's like a pump action um, pen. So you have to kind of prime it and you want to test it out before you um, start your nail art. And uh, so I'm just going to pop that cap off and I have my resin plate. So that's what I'm going to use to kind of uh, prime it and get it started. Um, so it just says that you have to kind of like keep pressing it in until the paint starts to come out. So you'll kind of see at one point after I've primed it enough that it leaves like a white dot behind. So that's going to be how you know that it's ready. There we go. And then um, I, I, it took me a couple of tries to kind of get used to working with this, but I thought that this was going to be a little bit easier because what I want to do for this nail art is, um, one of the words that she left on, um, her suggestion was also blessed. So I am kind of writing that out in cursive across my four nails so that when I kind of hold my nails together and you read it across, it says blessed. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing this with my dominant hand, my writing hand, so that it came out looking uh, legible. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I knew I was not going to be able to, you know, write the words like that on my, uh, on my dominant hand. So I needed to do it with my dominant hand. So it takes me a couple of tries and I kind of found also that, you know, in between, um, some of the letters, you kind of have to re prime it. And I just wanted to try to go, um, slow with it as well so that, um, you know, the letters look out, look, come out looking nice. So, um, you know, it took me a couple tries to kind of get it to look the way that I, uh, wanted to, but overall the paint pens are really easy to work with. I think it's just a little bit of getting used to how they work and everything. And, um, and also me just being a little bit, um, a little bit of a perfectionist and wanting it to look, um, you know, nice and like I said, legible. So, um, I do end up doing it over a couple of times. I won't make you watch all of the, uh, the attempts, but anything that I don't like, or if I want to start it over again, I'm just wiping it off with a little bit of alcohol on that cotton pant on that cotton pad so it came off uh, really easy so no big uh, worry there and I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch and I apologize if I sound a little bit off uh, today I I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel before or any of my previous videos but I am prone to um, headaches and migraines and for some reason every now and again I wake up with them um, I, I don't know why I, I wake up uh, that way you would figure after sleeping all night that you kind of wake up refreshed but sometimes I wake up with a headache and I woke up with one this morning and it is just not wanting to go away <laughs> so it's a little um, little frustrating when it happens like that but um, just trying to kind of chill out and relax a little bit uh, today but uh, I wanted to get this video out for you all so we can continue through our alphabet because I have been having a lot of fun seeing all of your suggestions and even if you've suggested before like I said I'm probably going to um, try to make sure it's a different person that gets um, picked each time but even if you have been featured already um, please still go ahead and uh, comment suggestions because uh, I am keeping track of um, other suggestions that are commented that I maybe are not uh, featuring in the actual like A to Z challenge but that I may want to um, attempt in the future so um, I, you know, I love getting the suggestions cause it kind of helps me think outside the box, uh, a little bit as far as, um, when it comes to, you know, doing different types of nail art. So keep the suggestions coming. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off with my top coat. And each time I cure, I am curing for 60 seconds. And then uh, I'll come back for some final thoughts and cuticle oil, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, and this is one of the uh, Fall Trio scents from Candy Skincare that was sweet tobacco. So it has a nice kind of smoky and almost kind of cheery kind of uh, scent. I almost said flavor. <laughs> Don't try to eat the cuticle oil. Uh, I guarantee you it's not going to taste as good as it smells. I have not attempted to try that, believe me, but uh, yeah, usually uh, that's the way it goes, but it smells absolutely wonderful. 
Um, and uh, that was from the Trix um, trio collection that she has out uh, right now. Um, so definitely check those out. And let me know what you think of this Manny. Letter C, um, for, the, for the suggestions for Letter C, will be coming out soon. I believe I have that scheduled for October 1st. Uh, so check that out as well and make your suggestions. But let me know what you think of this Manny. Um, Tia, thank you so much for the suggestions. Go check out her channel. And until next time, bye for now.